first thing we need to do is go find a bear. So I go and I usually type in tribal art and try to find a, a really good bear. And the one I found was actually a painting or a metal right there. And so I go in and get that. I get all my dimensions right for my material and make sure the thickness is exactly what I need and then hit OK. I then go up to the file, import bitmap, and there's the image. I then ungroup everything, get rid of all the extra stuff that I don't want in my drawing, and then I group it back together. I then close that. I start a vcarb file with a 1502 uh, white side bit and then preview it. I then save that toolpath and go over the machine and get it set up. Now here we are in Mach 4 and I'm homing the machine and getting ready to run it. And here I'm using the Rockler clamps again and I'm going to go ahead and run this program for this vcarb. Basically home the machine, XYZ, and then run the program. I'm getting to where I can crank one of these little cutting boards out every day. Um, I always have one that's ready glued up and then um, I try to pour the epoxy, at least pour one every day. I'm trying to accumulate enough of them where it's worthwhile to start selling them. Anyway, right now the machine is its doing the spindle warm up. I then go ahead and put the dust shoe on and run the program. And right here it's doing the fluting. I then switch. Now the fluting bit was a 1404. I'll show you a picture right here. The next bit is the 1502, and this is the V-carve bit that will carve out the, the center bear. And I run the program. Once it's finished, I clean up and take it over to the table and pour the epoxy. Right here I'm using Super Clear, and I've got some leftover dyes. Um, some greens and reds that I'm going to go ahead and mix up here. I think in the future I'm going to carve, you know, like six of these at a time so that because I tend to mix too much epoxy, it's hard to judge how much of a void you have in the V carve. But right there, I mix it up for about five minutes. The room temperature is 70 degrees, which is ideal for this epoxy and then I pour it in. The next day I get out my Makita sander and dust collection which I'm I need to improve on the adapter for this dust collection because it doesn't fit onto the Makita really that good but um, it keeps the dust down. I then start out with 80 grit to get rid of this fiberglass or this resin or epoxy and then I go to 100, 200, 300, 400 right up to 600. Yeah, it takes a few minutes. What's funny is every time I look out that window outside my little shop there's deer and turkey and you know stuff going by. They're looking in my window. It's funny. There's one goes by right there. Life in the mountains. Once I get, once I move up to 600 it really starts to look like something in the bear. It really looks, I, I really like it. I'll have a hard time selling some of these because I like, I just like the way they look. Next up, I take my porter cable and I do a little round over. It's just a little quarter round. And I round the top and the bottom. I then do a little more detail sanding, taking off any burn marks and just really cleaning it up. I then get out some walrus wax. And I waxed this whole thing with walrus wax. And it actually it had a really nice look to it. I can't decide actually which one I like better, the eagle or the, the deer or the bear. They're both really nice looking. Anyway, there it is. And thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later.